so lovely. Most of the time is something them a look. Am I right? So I hope it's not nothing you're looking to do. today and a powerful topic that will blow the mindset of man. The words of God that we read in the Bible, we read but we don't do what we read. And this is why mankind is so ignorant. Because we do things against what we read. Our belief system is different from our actions. Because we are afraid, we are timid, and we are not, we are not brave enough to face the criteria or to qualify to be a real man of God. Many people will tell you they will stand with you until they hear a clap as not even a gunshot, a clap as they run like teeth with you. Most will say that I will die with you. I cannot live without you. 
until calamities appear. The person that used to talk to you, you see them no more. A man that eat dumpling sometimes will tell you, I can eat 10 dumplings and still want two more. Because he used to eat five. He pop up himself, he's experienced that he can eat five more. Am I right? He will show off. He will show you how powerful he is. Why? Because of experience. The words of God that we state in the Bible that is the word of God were not exposed to the activity of the words. And that's where we feel. Blind eye pop wide open, cripple walk, dumb talk, deaf hear. But we're not seeing the activity we're only hearing the words and read the words, but where is the blind eye? Where is the cripple walk? Where is the dumb talk? Where is the deaf ear? Where is the dead rays? We're not seeing it. We only read it and believe it. Today, I must tell you, there must be an example of believing. Jesus caught up. Elijah caught up. Enoch caught up. We see the words, but we're not seeing activities. Jesus take two loaves, five fishes, and feed the whole nation. We're not seeing the activities, but we're hearing words. Jesus walk and what? We're not seeing the activity. We're hearing words. We will walk through the fire and cannot be burned. We will drink deadly poison and it won't harm us. We're just seeing no words. Just give us a reading the words, but we're not seeing the activity of what we read. So there is a preacher put his life on the line that everything that he read, he can activate it in action. <laughs> if I were like you today, I wouldn't eat or drink from no man. Someone will try to 
sure you have the faith in Jesus. He's reading the Bible and teaching over 40 years. So he already popped up. He already fired for his belief system. No man don't have to tempt him no more because he already persuaded that he can drink deadly pies like prophet wrote. And it won't harm you. We don't want no more preaching, because he has been preaching for 40 years and over. We don't want no more story. Drink it, make we prove it. Yes. This is the third subject, and my head now spin. You drink yours. If I'm preaching for 40 years and I'm, I'm ready popped up and fired, I'm not going to ask no question. Because I have already persuaded that my words that I believe will come to pass. Yeah. Healing for 40 years, you're opening blind eye. You don't have to pray no more. You know as the blind eye come, you wave your hand and him heal because you're already persuaded because you've done it before over and over and over. <laughs> but he read it for over 40 years but never put it in action. That's why he's afraid, you know, getting timid, getting nervous, and I preach, and I preach, a man said, I preach. The man said, test it. Test it, you man. And we'll let me go back. Let me go back, you man. That if you, if they drink any deadly things, if you will not hurt them, that is the same words. And I am here about poison. Back up, I do this. I do this testify for the audience that you have a true faith in Jesus.
the first thing I will answer before before really telling you what I'm going to do. That's it first step. I'm shaking a little bit. Excuse me. But listen now. You see, you asked me if I believe in Jesus. And I want to tell you, I believe in Jesus as it is written in the Gospels. I am preaching for over 40 years. I wouldn't shake. Because I already have the power and experience to push me through. And if my belief system is so great, you know, I have to wonder. Am I right? I don't believe in Jesus as it is written in the Quran. Because the Quran denies that Jesus is the Son of God. The Quran denies that Jesus was crucified. The Quran does not accept that Jesus was resurrected. That's not the one to hear. The Quran denies that Jesus is Messiah. And I believe in the, in the way the Bible says that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and His people with God. That we are talking about the price. I price we are talking about. But now this is my brain. This is my brain. Do you know? One day Satan himself approached Jesus. And the devil met Jesus in the wilderness and said, Throw yourself up from a high wall and make a show and try to show the people that you are the Son of God. When Jesus was standing in front of King Herod, even King Herod said to Jesus, now do some miracles for us so we can have a good time. Mr. Didat, you have written a book and you have made fun of Jesus and you have said that the Bible is contradicting each other in itself. Because in, in, in the prophecies it says, Yes, and coming to sign. Drink. Drink. I'll pay you. Drink. If you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. They have told me that the man that make the, the software for the internet system refused to let his family use that system because he knew the radiation will cut the life very short. If you look at the cigarette, the cigarette box, it's the most honest company I've ever seen. The cigarette box. 
it told you, warning, step one, dangerous for your health. Warning, step two, it will give you cancer. Warning, step three, it will rat out your two nails. Warning, step four, it will shorten your life. It tells you what it can cost you. And the same thing in the Bible, the Bible tells you, if you partake of my body and eat of my blood, this will not happen. Open your Bible with me. Give me the scripture. Eat of his body and drink of his blood. For this cause, many are weak, many are sick, Many get weeble and many die. Warning. First Corinthians eleven. I have no friends or associates who read the Bible. I have no knowledge of these guys. If they are intel intelligent or they are full, I don't know them. All what I'm writing and reading to you today is hear me here. I never read the Bible. None of my school brethren don't have a friend who read this Bible. None of you in here today don't have a friend who read this Bible. No one, no mother, no father, no sister, no brother, none of your family cannot say they help to read this Bible. So them can say, are we put in there? I read, we read. Hear, we hear. First Corinthians 11. Starting from verse 20. So then, when you come together, it is not the Lord's supper you eat. For when you are eating, Hold some on. of you. Your Bible so like it from Africa. Give me a different version. First Corinthians 11. When you come together, therefore, into one assembly in the church to worship God, continue. This is not, this is not what a man you to you eat breakfast this morning. Relax, man. Remember, I just tell you, the cigarette company is the most honest company in the world. They warn you what it will do to you. The cigarette company is just honest, like the word that we're gonna read right now. The Bible states in 1 Corinthians 11, verse 20, read. When you come together, therefore, in the one place in the church of God, Warning. Read. This is not, this to, eat is not to eat the Lord's supper of God's body. And it is not to drink of God's blood. Warning. Read. For in eating, For in eating every one of you should take food from your yard. Continue. Yes. And one is hungry. And one is hungry. And another is drunkard in the church. That's not supposed to happen. Continue. What? What? Have you not houses? Have you don't have a yard for go eat? Why? Hold on, hold on, man. Don't you have your house for go eat food and drink? Why you want to come in the assembly of the church? to eat of God's body and drink of his blood. Are you a vampire? 
Are you a murderer? Are you a scammer, a crooked? You, you want to take God people for, for what do they call it? When they take people and use them as sacrifice? So you use God as sacrifice and now telling God he is a sacrificial lamb. You are a wicked, obia worker, you are a murderer, you are a scammer, and you are a crook. And you so bright with it that you write it in the Bible. Jesus is a sacrificial lamb, taking the Son of God as sacrifice. Do you want someone to take your daughter as sacrifice? Your son as sacrifice? So why you want to say take the Son of God, which is your brother, as sacrifice? Eat of his body and drink of his blood. You are a murderer. Continue. What have you not house? Have you not house? You go eat food if you want to eat meat. Why not go kill one chicken? Why not go KFC? Go drink then eat, eat them chicken and drink them, them soda and choke. Continue. Yes. You are despising the church of God. You see? Look at look at this. Remember what I said? Me not have no connection with nobody who write it. So them can say a prophet rub around the corner and give him on toes and say, put in this for me. Me not know nobody who write it. You no know nobody who write it. So and we not we not guilty and not, we not this. I read we are read. Continue. And shame them that have And you shaming. The real people who don't want to take communion, eat of God's body, and drink of his blood. Continue. What shall I say to you? What shall I do to these type of people? Shall I praise you? Shall I praise you together in this? No. I praise you not. I will praise with you not. For I have received a For I hear something with the matter about God in my church. That which also may God tell you when we are here. Yes. That the Lord Jesus. That the Lord Jesus. The same night. The same night. In which he was betrayed. In which he was betrayed. Took bread. They said him took bread. And when he had given thanks. And he blessed it. Pray over it. Give thanks. He, he eat and said. Take, eat. This is my body, this is my body which, is which is broken for you. This, this do, in do in remembrance of me. Of me. Stop right there. This reader has given us examples, but he's saying that he hear what he do. He hear that something had gone down at church. So Jesus agreed to be the sacrificial lamb. And Jesus thought to use bread as example. To say, when I'm dead, I saw one of you eat of my body and drink of my blood. Then if Jesus agreed, how many did I run on the eye? So this writer is a scammer. If Jesus agreed to be the sacrificial lamb, and he also given example, say, when me dead, this is how you feel eat of my body, this is how you feel drink of my blood. When I go hide and I beg for and say, please not kill me, if you agree. Why would he beg for his life? Why would he hide in caves? Why would he employ 12 security to, to, to cover him? Why in Luke 21, he tell them to get some machete, some sword, for we're going to fight war? What do we tell him? Why would Jesus prepare for war if he agreed to be the sacrificial lamb? It's a story. Read, my daughter. After the same manner, After the same manner he took the cups. He took cups when he has supped. And when he has supped as example to show them more than for drinking blood, Say, he said, This cup, this cup is, the New is the New Testament. In my blood, 
This do he as often as you eat my body and drink my blood, you will remember. So me and you did a part when we did. Story. Continue. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord did. You see what the Bible said? The Bible says, as often as you drink and eat, you prove that you agree that Jesus should die. That means you are now a murderer. All of you in this church is a murderer, as long as you eat flesh. All of you who go down a KFC, you go eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, guilty of killing the chicken. The Bible said, Thou shall not kill. But them not practicing what the words say. The Bible said, If you drink deadly pies, you not going to be hurt. But the preacher don't want to drink. Why we read and believe, but we're not putting in present, in activities? What is the Christian people motive? Just to read and stop there? Why don't put it in action? Light five big tires, kiss them a fire, take off your clothes and walk and call upon the blood. It will not harm you. Stanley! <laughs> Mr. Stanley! I wonder if he is in prison. Stanley, may I seize my own? Gone hide. Don't try fool God people if you don't understand the word. Read. Therefore, warning. Hold on. Therefore, Warning, step two. Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord and worthily against the law and stipulations of God shall be guilty of the body and blood. That mean you are guilty of murder. I wonder if the police can come for now. <laughs> Read. But let, a man but let a man examine himself. And so, let him eat of that bread, drink of that cup. For, hold on, warning number four. For he that eat it and drink it and worthily against the laws of God. Yes. Eat it and drink it. Domination to himself. And in family, and in picnic them, and in mumma, and in dog them, and in goat them, and in dog them, and in puss them, and in children, 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 upon the third, fourth, and fifth generation. You're going to hear some people say, 
a wicked thing when a wicked mama do fall upon the picnic. You know, don't yet, you know? Read me that. You, you want me to buy you one bun? You want me to buy you one bun and cheese? Go, for, go get one bun and cheese at talk shop to me. And one ch- tropical with him. Get one bun and cheese and one tropical with him. Me no want she, me, me want she, her belly full of cherries. Read me that. For he that for he that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And for this cause, many of them get weak in that church because they don't know self domination they drink for themselves. Yes. Many of them get sick, weeble. Pastor, pray for me. Yes. And many of them dead. And part. Jesus! And start spin roll like in a pan fire. I, I, I use God as sacrifice. That pass Oben. <laughs> Nothing that powerful than when you eat of his body, drink of his blood, you know, vampire. <laughs> That's right. You still got the GG general general. The Bible gave you a warning like the cigarette function. He said, warning. Any one of you who partake of this will cast domination because no no ghost of Jesus can dead, the man of God can dead. If, if the prophet caught up, which is Elijah, if Enoch caught up and then not do the power with Jesus do, then Jesus could not do. Yeah. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Give her the bun. <laughs> you can't eat more than one? You can't eat more than one? So tomorrow I'm going to give you one next bun. You see, after you're married, not eat no more bun. <laughs> so, hold on, you want to go back a little bit? Look at this interest in you, man. I will go back in you. Know. I will go back a little bit, man. We just go back. I see the last uh, question to Mr. Samuel. And that is according to the uh, title, is not by the true word of God. And uh, he accepts that he, uh, he, he believed that the Bible is the true word of God and he believed in Jesus. So I want to ask if you had a complete faith in Jesus Christ. And if yes, then according to, I have one uh, question here, according to Mark in the Bible, chapter 16 and verse 18, you have in your lecture said that uh, they were uh, about the sickness and the uh, things that uh, you can uh, recover the sickness of the people. And in the same verse, it stands that if, you, if they can any deadly things, if you will not hurt them, that is the same words. And I am here about poison. Can you please, can you please testify for the audience Take that it. you can uh, choose the same thing in Jesus?
your question. My brother has given me a deadly poison yes. and wants me to drink it. Yes. He wants me to make a show and tell you that it is true what is written in Mark 16 that if we drink something that is poisoned, we will not die. Now, very strange. You see, I believe in God. I have experienced the Holy Spirit and in our family, we have experienced the Holy Spirit as a reality. And the Holy Spirit tells us what is going to happen. And my wife told me Thursday night, Stanley, be careful, someone will try to poison you. Jesus went on 40 day fasting according to scriptures to gain some power to fight the enemies. The Bible states that the angels of the Lord come and strengthen him along his journey. Your body that you have right now, your flesh and blood, did not come from God. I repeat, very firm, very strong. I am not sweating. I am not nervous. I am not timid. So I know what I'm speaking. I don't drink this morning. I never drink pies and get shaky. Your body that you're looking at did not come from God because everything that comes from God cannot be hurt, cannot be touched, cannot be sick, cannot be depressed. Your life within the body comes from God. But your body come from the sons of God. I didn't say the sons, you know, the sons of God. That means the earth, 
the earthly God. If you notice, you liver red, your eyes black, apart, white, different suns have different colors. Your tongue, different color. Your outer appearance, different. So the, the dimensions where your head come from, it's different from where your heart come from. That's why life don't appear one day. None of you are born one day. So none of you truly don't have a birthday because you don't know when you're born. Because life, you don't born one day. Life takes years to form it, to born, to birth. So the doctor will tell the mama, we only see the heartbeat and hear the heartbeat, but the foot not come yet. Because everyone comes from different dimension. If you go to the tire shop, the tire man will tell you, we only manip manufacture tires. Tires come from China. The engine come from England. The radiator come from Thailand. The, the headlamp come from Pakistan. So all of them have to ship from different dimensions and then come to one place to put together. In three months, the doctor will say, we saw the foot, we see the head, the hands them appear, but we don't know the gender. The gender don't appear yet. We don't, it don't come yet from different dimensions. Months after months after months, when a man sleep with a woman, a man have 25% of former nation of life with him, and a woman have 75%. A woman more aggressive to have children than a man. Do you know that? If a woman is in heat, she wants no food, no drink. All she wants to see is her husband. And if her husband don't appear, the children they never leave the house. She's angry, she's miserable, she kicked the dog, she threw the pillar, she's not gonna wash. She refused to cook. You with me, somebody? When a man is in satisfaction, he gives you all his money, his car, his house, his land, and when he do everything and everything is over, his head come back, he realizes he lose everything. It is more easy to talk to a man when he is close to you in power. You get everything you want. Don't talk to a man when it's finished. He will tell you, you pray about it, and ask the Lord to, to, to counsel him. You with me, somebody? But when you're close to him and, and things are happening and things are given together, then he will walk from Jamaica to Jericho, barefoot, to please you. Take the house, take the car, take the land, take the dog, them, take everything. But when it's over, don't ask him for nothing, you'll get nothing. I'm not talking profit row because I have sense from my born and you know. <laughs> So when a woman and a man join together, before you release a power, most maybe 30 or 40 percent of the female will say, we want KFC first. They want to follow our belly first, isn't it? You want to prove benefits before you join together. Most female want to see benefits. They want to see house, car. Those activate them to say, "Red, I'm ready." Is it? 
But when a woman head gone and she an idiot, even if she see a mongrel dog, she say, okay, go ahead. You must value who you are. And while you're valuing yourself, you must qualify people to talk to you. There must be a level of qualification before you associate with me. Very important. You must be focused. You must be positive. You must be firm. You must stand your ground. You must know what you want. Don't tell yourself you're just a give it a try. Life can make one mistake and the scars follow you forever. <laughs> Don't give nothing a try. You must test it, you must approve it, it must pass, pass, pass before you put yourself in it. <laughs> Investigate before you invest your precious life. So when life injected together 25% of the female figure and 75% of the female come together, the life start to repress particles. Just like you're going to a shipping company and you're repressing particles to ship from different countries. Particles of life start to form it. The DNA and the particles of life. Doctors say it takes seven months, eight months, nine months for the particles to shift to one body and start forming together. After the particles formate together, the scriptures start to approve itself. It said for you to move from henceforth to forevermore, to inherit the kingdom of God, you have to born again. And to be born again in Christ, you have to be born through the water, the spirit, and the blood. It's not the river water. That's not God water. That is sons of God water. The water that God is talking about is the mystery water in the womb of a woman. So when the water bursts, the mother takes the child through the water, the spirit and the blood, you shall enter the kingdom of God. So you're not trying to go to heaven no more. You are ready in the kingdom. To destroy them from focusing on the kingdom of God, we have to mentor them into an atmosphere of worth by the sweat of their brow. They shall eat bread. So train them from the young to be slaves. So when people go to school, they give them a mind, a manipulation mindset that they must look a job, qualified to employ, qualified to have a job, qualified to work. You with me, somebody? So going to school, you grow up with that mindset that after you leave school, you want a job. Because you have been manipulating. After five billion students leave school, everyone looking a job. No one trying to be the head and not the tail above and not beneath. Why? Because your mindset has already place and slave mentality. <laughs> if I don't have a job, how am I going to prosper? How am I going to pay my bills? No one said, if I don't open a business, how am I going to prosper? You hardly hear someone say that. All they're saying, if I don't have a job. Forget about job. Job is the tail. Your business, 
You operate in a company, you operate in a factory, you become the head. Talk to me, the people. Very important in life that to recognize where you are, who you are, and where you're going. After life appeared, the same day life appeared, the same day life start count down to death. Most of you know, you're 40 years close to death. Your wages of sin. Isn't it? You don't know what sin is. All you know, anytime sin come upon you, sickness come, pain come, starvation come, long suffering come, and death start to come. So if you're sick right now or you're going through something right now, that means there's some laws and stipulations that you should abide and you do not abide. The closer or the quickest way to die is to confess that you are a sinner. If you want to die early, you disrespect the maker after God make you royal, perfect, holy, sanctified, peculiar. You don't hear confessing that God make you in sin and form you in iniquity. That is disrespecting the anointing of God. Those are abomination to the divine. And those carry you close to the grave. Some of you take 85 years to die, 70 years to die. 40 years to die according to the laws and stipulations that you abide. Some of you are going to die at 90 years old. You're on your way. You thought you're going to live or caught up. Anytime you see someone in your world caught up, then you can believe that one day you will. But long as there was no example of the past that your brother, sister, uncle, niece, never mother, never see no one, you never see it neither. Because what goes around comes around. If it happened before, it has to happen again. And if it's not happening now, that means it never happened before. Very important. Life for me in particles of power. And only one power on earth save you. Because God not protect you. But most of you believe God protect you. If God protect you, you could not sick. You could not depress. You could not weary. No man could not use you. Is not God protect you. Is the reward that you achieve protect you. Every time you gain rewards, it gain protections. From the earth, which is nature. So if you open a bottle of drinks and you look on your earth, you don't see no ants, you don't see no worm, you don't see no cockroach, you don't see nothing. But nature has children that is starving. You open the bottle of juice, you throw it on the earth. The children of nature start to appear on the unseen that you couldn't see and start to feed. When you feed the children of nature, it gains you more reward. The more you give, the more you get. Most people believe is giving to people make you get back something. No. The more you give people is the more curse will take you if you don't know who you are giving. Why? Because who God bless. 
no man curse. Who God curse, no man bless. You could give someone that the anointing curse already, and you try to bless somebody that God curse, that curse transferred to you. Yeah. It's like a man that commit a crime and the police lock him up. And you go off and work him out of jail. You want to happen to you, they want to charge you for breaking the man out of jail. So if God, if the anointing of God bind him because he steal, he robbed, he raped, God keep a picnic and God bind him and put him down, make him mad, make him walk like vagabond and beg and you go there pray, may the power of God heal you. God make that curse come upon you. Pastor Stanley, make them trick you. Not drink it. You not drink it, Master. And I say, God, just store them at the people. Not drink it. I beg you. Your wife is a nice wife. Not drink it. The commandments of the divine is different from the commandments of nature. You have billions of gods, but you have one master. So this flesh were created by nature, the sons of God which is also God, but not the, the man, the big man, not the almighty. This is just the local God them down here, nature. And nature is not a man to play with. If nature, which is the earth, not like you, you can walk in peace. If the earth hates you, everywhere you go, make a joke you. The only man on the earth you're not supposed to turn enemy with. Is this man? For if this earth gets to hate you, every move you move your job. <laughs> Nothing that powerful than when you give the children of nature food. Buy one whole bread and just cut it up and throw it on the ground. Bird come eat, cockroach come eat, rat come eat. Just feed nature. And doors start to open for you. <laughs> Nothing that dangerous. They want to go around and feed people. And after you can't get them, then say, You're the wicked boy. <laughs> I'm alone, want something in life. And the member said, They feed them two weeks ago. That's wicked. Feed the children of nature. The Bible said, Do not put my people on fasting. He said, Warning, do not put my people on starvation. God tell his disciples, He said, Take the children of Fasting. Don't put them on fasting. I will not suffer my people before me bless them. If I'm going to bless them, they shall be blessed with their separation. Yes. Three. Mark eight. In those days, the multitude, the church was packed. And, having to eat, and the disciples put the church and fasting and have nothing to give them to eat. Jesus called his, Jesus called his disciples and warned them. He said, Be careful how you treat God picking. Read. He say unto them, I have compassion for the people. On the multitude, 
I can't believe you put them on the fasting for three days and then on your feet. Because they have now eaten me three days. Three days. And have nothing. And them have nothing for eat. He said, take them out of fasting. Read. And if you take them out of fasting and send them away to their own house, hungry, most of them will faint by the wayside. Why? Because most of them come from some of them come from Portland, Mobile, Kingston, Portmore, Spanish Town, but then reach back them out faint. He said, give them something to eat, take them out of fasting. I remember when my pastor put the church on 21 day fasting. I was a deacon in the church. And when you first, the, the, the cave, see the behind the church and the main. And after I leave the first day, I feel something I move. I smell the chicken. I couldn't have passed, brother. So I step on and lick one tree piece. Go back a fast in the evening or as no for you know say so seven adventures you know. So you so you have church in the morning and church in the evening. When we're gonna even miss chung a chicken attack. I miss some of my church brother and them have white something for them more them are starved. And me, me, I feel I go on like me for me me can't, you know? And then we see the chicken I'll for me thing. The next day, we we'll come a fasting early. Some of the real dieted, chubby man, them not even face them not wash because them this size, them are whole it. They go and eat better because we can't hold it. And God will never make you burn and dead. Come look and me see eight day pass and the, me, me pass that trunk. Just walking trunk and the Lord have kept me. Me say something not look this. It's not look good this end. Say something not look good this. So me start looking at myself. If water don't touch the face of the earth by a certain temperature, the earth will crack up. If water don't touch your organs or liquid at certain temperature, your lips them start crack up, your throat start dry, your eyes start sinking, your gut bladder and everything start lack. You're dehydrated, then you you're going to drop. They are going to shink. So I said, no, sir. Pastor Chukwe. <laughs> and most of the people, them, them are starved, but we know when they go home, they are thief and eat something. But you can't see it. But they are come and they are look like they are eat, but they are eat. So I fully eat it. Because I'm afraid to catch people who are Japanese. I say, I'm fasting. And people want to the show, so they are fasting. <laughs> And job. They call them the turkey dove. Yeah. I've never seen so much people jump in my life and still go home hungry. 21 days and pastor walking in trunk and he said, The Lord have kept him. And he said, You liar, brutes. <laughs> The man lit, not even a crack. <laughs> not even a white squad. The Lord have kept you. 21 days, no food. Flesh would fail you. You cannot go 21 days without food or liquid. Your flesh will fail you. Your organs will fail. You're not Jesus. 
don't try to be like Jesus because you're not bad feelings would sweat you and kill you very important that you recognize when lying tongue is in the church after 21 days fasting the church come up and have to give you need 400 toes I can't forget 400 toes to finish put up a part of the church and we have to Peck out with money. Remember, me get everything. Not even a um, boom ride from taxi go home. Because I'm a loyal to church. Only one thing wrong me I do. I eat food when fast and I go on. <laughs> I mean, no one dead. You know? <laughs> that is the only thing wrong with me, so me I do. But me, I'm loyal to church. And after growing up and getting knowledge, I start to recognize that if God sent you to build a church, God will not allow you to go borrow a loan. And you don't have to borrow a loan to pay God's bill for God sent you. You don't have to pressure a church for offering if God sent you. God, I've got to send people come pay up that. So I recognize now that none of us pastors, prophets, elders, bishops, evangelists, apostles, professors, none of us have never sent by God to build a church. The anointing and the gift that upon us attract the crowd and our desire to build a church. If, if God sent Prophet Row in Manchester to build this church, if you say something about me, God kill you. Oh. Once God sent me to put this year, so if you ever send me, you are ready to them because nobody can come against what God put there. No man cannot come against what God blessed together. Let no man come asunder. So the power of God that flows in shadows cannot be among man. The presence of the most high God cannot dwell with no man. The presence of the nature, the presence of the sons of God cannot be among man. But the presence of the Almighty cannot be among man. If the presence of the Almighty flow upon the earth, there will be no tree. Every tree will die. Because the presence is too powerful. It's too hot. If the sun is so hot, what is the presence of God? If a truck drive past you at 200 miles per hour, if you know whole land pan something, the breeze blow you. Much less the presence of God, the Bible state that is one year faster than. At 1,000 years correction, 1,000 years fast. Imagine 1,000 years with a breeze a passing, it tear you in pieces. <laughs> 1,000 years. So the Bible said, a thousand years in the sight of man is one day for God. That's one day. Look at me, one of you. Because most of your eyes just start open. You never opened before. You never seen nothing. 
You did blind and dumb and deaf. You never seen nothing. You never pick up nothing. I be a cockroach in your house. A thousand years in your sight is one day for God. That means from your born, none of you in Christ do not have a birthday. Half a day in God is 500 years. And now you never live 500 years. So now you never live half a day yet. Quarter a day in God is 250 years. And you know half the sun. You know live. So what stopping life of the earth? Before Jesus, people used to live. For 3,000 years, 900 years, 700 years, 1,400 years, people live. Now, people now pass 50. As you reach 50, you start to move like robots. I want mint tea. And cornmeal porridge. I grew up in the Nazi church. But when you preach or preach, the place a jerk. That me grew up in. Now. And then we tell the, 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 the technician, turn up the mic, so me, me, me shake the place. Me now go back, listen. You persuade the people them, motivate them, and when you see say you catch them, you start collect offering. And when them don't throw off them last, you see, remember taxi stand, I choose which taxi for going on, because them, uh, them taxi fear in a year after. Holy Pono Station. Did the pastor everything? I'm going to taxi stand, I beg. Disgrace yourself if you please the bishop. Don't do it for me. Come in hungry. <laughs> God don't want your money. A wee pastor use your money to fix up church and buy pretty suit. God don't want it. No, not even. And these men are great men. From before me born, after me born, and after me gone and born and born, no pastor on earth cannot say after church, God send my angel come pick up your money. No. It's, it's for the Lord. It's for the Lord? Which Lord? For the Lord. The Lord's money. Don't check the people. Don't check the people. This, this, that's why they don't like me. And they can't like me because men are like them. <laughs> it's amazing to know there's a, there's a preacher come on and 93 points up me two, two, three nights ago. And when a man rubbed me out, he rubbed me out, he rubbed me out. He said, that prophet in Manneville is wicked. Where he gets so much money? For he helps so much people. That man is doing some scamming in the church. So one sister called him and said, no pastor. I cash pot money for throwing ink and dessert and pick up me. He said, peep, peep, peep. And I like cut her off. One next one called him and said, Pastor, you like a son drugs, drugs money, you know? He said, Yes, you look like a drugs money man. You start work with the one. <laughs> you start work with the one, we are talking about different things about me. And when someone called for different me now, you cut them off. The man talk and said, He start cough. Even the man begs. Hmm? When I look and see how much gas, how much taxi man line up behind him, like him a Jesus or him a God. And those bikes that he, he, he gave it to Marion and told, I have never seen those bikes in Jamaica. <laughs> so, 
you know, the last part, you know, one gentleman calling. And I said, Bishop, how you do how things? I said, yeah, man, I'm okay, man, I'm good now. Like that one, you're nice, I'm up in He said, Bishop, you know, I'm not for people. And Prophet, well, you know, I do things for people. I mean, pop, pop, and cut him out. <laughs> All of those people, they will start to preach in the congregation. Do not go to Prophet Road Church. Because once you come here, you eyes them. I tell about one up the road. So he put his whole church from far to the fast in for me. I'm going to wipe me off the earth. So you come like America against, against North, North Korea. I'm going to wipe me off the earth. There's a lady, her father had left two years ago. And the pastor prophesied to her that God said he gave him the property. And she got blessed and she got her husband and everything. She's so excited, she started to jump up and jump. Sign over the property with a JP as a gift, gift pastor. My sister in that church where she rent place from, she can't pay her rent. And she had to tell her sister, say, the, 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 the church sister say, she have two years old and her pastor take it to God. Say. Sister said, look here, go check the profit. Go check the profit. Right in this, she come. As she entered the office and sit down. She don't know me, I don't know her. I said, I see two acres of land. I said, where the acres of the land there? She <laughs> <laughs> said, Pastor, take it to God. I said, look here. Take the police and go in church and tell him say, you want back your property where your father then left you. Yes. She go up by church and tell him, say, Prophet Rose. <laughs> Make a man get to hate me. No. <laughs> no, the man put in church for my father there fasting. So, there's a next one now in Kingston. This is a true story, you know, in Kingston. The poor little drinking man have a little business, but it's a struggle. So, I'm borrowing a little loan, big up in business. His wife anniversary. He borrow a, a loan. He get some concessions. Cause he work in company with con concession, and he get a SUV value over five million dollar SUV. Surprise his wife for the anniversary. They start to go to a certain church. He leave go to China go buy some stuff for the company while his wife come to church. The prophet called up the wife. The Lord said he must, she must give him the van that she had drive, and her business had got took her. And she got to build plazas and she got to own a Range Rover and this and that. She got excited and jump up, jump up, jump up. The and they must catch her. After church, she took out in bag and something. He passed her the brand new SUV. The pastor wife are driving. The pastor makes she sign, she hand it over as a gift. When the husband comes from China, she rent a car, go pick him up. <laughs> so in the airport now, true story, just happened like that day. Um, cry, cry, go for them church too. So, husband said, honey, what happened to the van? You can't break down so quick, you just buy. She said, no. Prophet, take it from me. Take me one week. He said, the Lord said, we're busy, I'm going to take off. Now we're going to have more. He said, no. Call Prophet Roe. Call it Jenna, Jenna. Look, we'll find out if I true this. He called me. He said, come down. He said, come to my office. He said, look here. God, not talk to you, man. Because the voice of God is too loud to enter in the ears of the human body. So any pastor say God say is a story. 
So go for your gun. Go for the gun. Go tell you your prophet that Tony say, prophet who was saying. Tony prophet against me again. He said, no, give back your gun because she signed as a gift. She has to borrow money, so one point five billion she borrow, and give him behind her husband back. He just give back your van to make a peace in her in house. I said so she give back her van. She fear rumors start spreading in her church now. Then other people in her church know when prophesy to take back, take with them shop and them this and them that. Start come to me now. And then start come to me, me send them back for them things now. When they go back, I see them thinking, Prophet Rose said. <laughs> so the man bitterly hate me. So no deal in preach without him, him look out for Prophet Rose. That man is a, the false prophet. Because he peep them eyes. There's a time and a life to die at 80 years old. If you do good, you're still going to reach 80 and dead. If you do bad, you're still going to reach 80 and dead. No matter what you do, no matter who will come upon you, no matter who criticize you, 80 years old are going to die. That's purpose. There is nothing called untimely death. Purpose do not fail. <laughs> and timely death only approach the generation of vipers. And after five minutes, I'll close and send you home. I'm going to explain to you how generations of vipers appear upon the earth. You have two kinds of people upon the earth. Two kinds. You have the children of the Most High God which operate into a body. And you have the generations of vipers. God assigned you to have two sons and two girls. Those two sons and two girls make four. When you have those four, they will say, Mama, I love you. Mama, I believe in you. Mama, I want to work and take care of you. Then you meet the next man. I look at that man. The man says, I want a child with you. Your desire to have a next one out of the purpose. So your desire create a next child. That child where you desire to have become generations of vipers because that is not in God's purpose. Your purpose is to have four. But you have choices if you want to pass the four, up to you. That one pure up the whole family. In robbing, scamming, go prison. He said, Mama, I don't like you, you are a daughter, girl. He said, that. He said, Daddy, you are this. Thing. And he destroyed the family. Every family has one. Every family has one. Every family has one. One of them sicky sicky, cocky cocky, drinky drinky, smoky smoky. Something happened to him, but every family has one of them. Generations of vipers. And if him or she have three or four picnic, those four with that generation of vipers have started a ton generation of vipers. And they're the one that destroy the earth. <laughs> a lady has a piece of land, maybe two, three acres. And her brother have one acre beside her. The father then left it with the mother, then left it. They build a wall to divide his property from her property. He said she come over just a little inch 
to much by her property. She must lick down the wall. Come back home. She go to a surveyor, and the surveyor man come and say, no, it is exactly where it should be. He said, no. He get for him surveyor. For him surveyor come back and say, yes, it exact. It is the right place. Make a wall stay. Him go back and get a next surveyor. Next surveyor say, no, it is right. Make it stay there. He go back and get the third surveyor. And the third surveyor says, same thing. And the man is still not satisfied. Generations of bikers. Three surveyor him get, and she get one, and four of them say the same thing, and him still not satisfied. Him not stop, and can't stop because in him is poison. Him happy at war, him can't be at peace. No matter how you want to be at peace, Oh, he's like a lion. You have a cat and you feed him. Remember, a cat instinct is for teeth. You give him butter, you give him milk, he belly full. He may have no desire for teeth, for him belly full. The moment you make him belly start going down a little bit, he starts stretch out. You think, you think, wait, no, gonna rush, yeah? I make space to go eat out your food. <laughs> yeah, come and come feed, feed me. You know, say, I post a long time. Hmm? Hmm? You know, say, I get hungry now. And you start push out the cloud and say, yeah, you know, come. <laughs> hmm. If you have a man like that, Run in front of your horse. <laughs> you make him stay over for one week, and you give him one little money, and you realize that you have money, you start stretch. <laughs> you want to borrow. You learn him, you come back and stretch again. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop the gun. <laughs> and you have come and see the same way. You tell her if you can spend two days, you bring three suitcases. <laughs> and you left with three suitcases, and I said, I'll come back next week and I'll bring three more. <laughs> Especially if you know so you have to go to work, you wake up late when you say you're gone. When you call it, call it, officer, you ready yet? I sweep out the house. I'll show sure you saying, I'm going away. I just teach me, I teach you something. Yes, sir. Yeah, I teach you some wisdom. Yeah. As I close, I'm going to close with Mr. Stanley. You feel hurt, Selena? Because he realized he can't drink it. But he might preach it for 40 years. I will drink deadly poison and it won't harm me. I never know when I buck up on a brave man to put it to him to see it they know. Drink. A prophet from Africa bring a drink to man and raise the man from the dead. So the murderers call him and say, we have 11 dead in here, come raise one. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're so powerful and you raise one already, come. We pay you 10 million naira to raise one one. Come raise one. Mandela dead. Come raise him back. 
Bob Marley dead, come raising. Because if you do it already, you must can do it again. Come and check it. Come and check it. Then we say first could be purpose. Second could be what? No, first could be mistake. Second a purpose. No one can see purpose. Since I mistake the first one, show me the purpose. And then check it. If you can raise one dead, go to a hospital and raise every dead down there. Since you're so good, you ain't got a sign for that. Talk to me, man. I see churches have 14, 20 wheelchair line up. Empty wheelchair where crippled people come out. Of. But since we bring that one here, take out that one day. Since it's the 20 already, come on do that one. You know, love scamming. If I am so powerful that I can take out so much three people that I will cheer, I would go to the infirmary and raise up all of them. Yeah. Just don't do the one and two. Do the majority. Let me see the activity. Since you read it in the Bible, the blind eye shall pop wide open. Triple walk, dumb talk, show it to us. Because we know say power there no, get me again. We know, but we just want to see it. We know it, it, it is here, but we want to see it in our eyes. We want to see we bring you one look of it and one look of it turn a thousand look of it. Feed the nation. And then I can know that the power that used to flow through Jesus still has flowed through us. Amen. What Christian people are afraid of, they want to know the truth, they want to believe the truth. But them can live the truth. <laughs> Our dear pastor wants to know the truth, which him read it, him believe it, but him can't perform it. You are telling me if me drink deadly poison. No, you are preaching to me. If me drink deadly poison, me can't dead it, and you know want to drink it. <laughs> so you tell me for? You first drink it and I prove it that is true. Then you tell me, say so me can't do it. And then me and you can be friend. Me can't tell you for me drink it in front of you, no. <laughs> Pastor Stanley. <laughs> me drink it in front of you. Then you can't see. I'm in a job almost half of me. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it first. Taste the food. The cargo is nice, then so I tell the people say nice. I tell people say nice and you don't taste it. Talk to me the people, man. If you have your ram goat, hide them. If you have little money, especially if you, if you employ anyone and you have paid them, take out some silver, make it look like you can hardly find it. You know, make them lose so you have no. Because at Christmas, they will send their friend to come feed. Christmas 
If you don't have to go on the road, no go up on the road. Stay in your safe zone. Watch your TV, play a little game, turn on it, whatever. Let your dog them. Stay in your safe zone. God bless you. My life is strong and awesome through Christ. Yes, I have good health and long life. Yes, I have peace, joy, and happiness. Yes, I am rich and strong. Yes, I am awesome in Christ. Yes, the power of God will never leave me. Nor forsake me. I shall be the head, not the tail. Yes, I shall be above and not beneath. In the name of the I that I am. So that I am blessed and highly favored. I am great. I am wonderful. I am awesome through the eye that I am. Thank you.